surprise, surprise to absolutely nobody, Saved by the Bell has been canceled. That's the Saved by the Bell reboot, which was recently on the Peacock. And it only received two seasons. And after those two seasons, it's been officially canceled. Now, Saved by the Bell was a show that combined a younger cast along with the older cast. You know, you had everybody return. Even eventually, Lisa Turtle. Obviously, uh, Dustin couldn't return because he passed away. But with this show, of course, they injected a lot of pro wokey woke nonsense, addressing issues like race, inclusion, and class. I think they also had a Elemental P character in there where it was a a guy as a female character. It even won an award from the GLAD organization. But despite all of that nonsense, the show has been canceled. But it doesn't stop Mark Paul Gosselar, or Gosselar, however you want to say his name, because he continues to work. <laughs> you know, unlike most of his co-stars who usually go back to the convention circuit, especially when once this show is canceled, or since this show has been canceled, they're going back to the convention circuit. I mean, Mario Lopez does well with the hosting gigs, which again, they almost came after his job because, you know, he wouldn't submit his, I think, three-year-old son at the time to the idea of being uh, trans or something like that. Sickos. But again, outside of his old hosting gigs, he, I don't really see him in getting that much acting work. But Mark Paul Gosselaar is never stopped. <laughs> because as soon as this show was announced, actually before this show's cancellation was announced, it was announced that he got another show. A NBC drama called Found. Now, obviously it's in the pilot stage, but again, he has a job and I think this particular show they're going to try to push at least a couple of seasons because of the nature of the show now found is a show that he will be cast as the opposite lead to Shinola Hampton Shinola Hampton which is known for the TV show Shameless now this will be a one-hour missing persons drama which is written by Nikichi Okoro Carroll, and it hails from Berlanti Productions. Yes, that Berlanti Productions, Greg Berlanti, who I believe is responsible for a lot of the CW shows, because I hear that name Greg Berlanti a lot. But again, this is why I believe they're going to try to push this show beyond just the pilot based on the premise right here now the premise for found states this in any given year more than 600,000 people are reported missing in the u.s more than half are people of color that the country seems to forget about in found public relations specialist gabby mosley portrayed by shadola hampton who was once one of those forgotten ones herself and her crisis management team makes sure there's always someone looking out for the forgotten missing people but unbeknownst to anyone this everyday hero is hiding a chilling secret of her own so there you have it <laughs> and uh mark paul will play sir a controversial, a controversial figure in Gabby's past. So yeah, it's really quite amazing. Uh, Mark Paul Gosselaar keeps getting these roles. And I recently uh, watched an interview with him where he's been interviewed on the, on a podcast from the guy from uh, Smallville. I think he played Lex Luthor. And he was discussing how, you know, he got his SAG 
his SAG card in 1984. And one of the things that I noticed outside of this dude truly being a hard worker within the Hollywood acting game, because believe it or not, most of them don't make a living at working, which makes it extra hard for white male actors who are just blatantly getting racist treatment and not getting work. You know, they have to do deal with the reality that only 2% of them can make a living off of this. And now they have the extra pressure of dealing with racism and discrimination based on acceptance and tolerance. <laughs> and what I've noticed is during Mark Paul Gosler's recent interviews, because I find listening to these interviews, you're doing a little research because you're finding out information, especially the creepy aspects, you know, the pedo aspects. When you hear actors like Mark Paul Gosselin talk about the industry, you know, when they speak on it, of course, they blow over it. But, you know, if you're perceptive and observant, you know, you, you can hear what they're talking about. But in his recent interviews, he's truly been out here marketing himself to the industry, making sure that they know that he's not white. <laughs> because he, just like all of his colleagues, I'm sure, are very aware of the blatant racism and discrimination that's accepted and tolerated by the mainstream. That if you're a so-called white male hetero actor, then you're going to find it pretty difficult getting work nowadays, even in commercials. And Mark Paul Gosseler has been making sure people know that he is mixed. You know, that his mother is Indonesian and he even highlights the fact that his father is Dutch. Like, oh, so I'm not just this white guy. <laughs> now, when he's discussing it in these interviews, it comes off pretty organic because there is a genuine curiosity from those who interview him. The fact that, you know, Zach Morris with the blonde hair all this time. He was actually mixed, you know, and he has the pictures of with his mother to prove it, <laughs> you know. So that genuine curiosity with people who discover that fact allows him to play that card in a very organic way. And you can tell he's been in the industry for some time now and has learned from the industry because he he pretty much handles himself pretty well in these interviews. And he's and he very slyly injects that race card, letting people know, hey, I'm not the white guy. Please don't be racist and discriminate against me. <laughs> and please don't me to me for whatever I may have done. And again, uh, I noticed the game, but he's allowed to play that game because people, again, have that natural curiosity about discovering that fact you know that he was or that he is uh so-called mixed and it plus it helps that as he ages he looks more asian so that helps and that's i'm sure part of the reason why he's allowed to still get work because all of these woke racist pocs um, whether they want to admit it or not, they grew up having crushes on Zach Morris. So he has that going for him. And then when they discover that he was actually, that he's actually mixed, that gives him more leeway. And then, of course, they also like to highlight the fact that he dated uh, Lisa Turtle in real life. You know, and he had a, a, the longest relationship, I believe, with her. So, you know, people like to highlight that as well and again that works to his benefit in an industry that's just openly racist against people based on the description that mark paul gosseler used to have which was the whitest of white boys but now you know he lets people know that his mother's indonesian so you know you can't attack me right please please give me work and so far it's been working because again before this say about a bill show 
the Saved by the Bell reboot before the cancellation was even announced, just a couple of days. Before that, it was announced that he found a new show called Found, even though he has to play the opposite of a strong black girl magic who is out here finding the people of color that the society and media just ignore even though the overwhelming majority of that media that ignores them is liberal so if anybody's ignoring them it's liberals doing it themselves but you know you can never expect these people to actually <laughs> be honest with themselves or honest about themselves that's the whole reason why people shouldn't be taking anything these morons say about anything seriously just like with this Roe versus Wade situation, and idiots like Elizabeth Warren trying to pretend like she's Native American, ranting and raving about it. It's like, oh, <laughs> I have to censor myself. But I'm just saying, man, these people, they deserve to be addressed for all their blatant and shameless hypocrisies. But outside of that, Mark Paul Gossler, work in the industry making sure everybody knows that he's POC too.